Hey everybody, uh, today I'm in Hudson, Florida, and Hudson, Florida is just north of Tampa, and I own property here, and this is basically where I was building for my retirement. And we had the hurricane a few days ago, and I want to get you guys this video. And what this video is about is, if you're gonna live on the water, things you really, really need to know. Okay, it's beautiful living on the water, don't get me wrong. Um, I love it, you know, you put your boat in the water, you go out, you go fishing, swimming, kayaking, just nature, everything about it is great. Um, but there's some pitfalls about it, especially after this hurricane. I've never seen a hurricane like this before, and I think the one that hit us here in Hudson was probably the worst ever recorded don't quote me on that but that's what a lot of people are telling me it was just it was just horrendous since they were keeping records and stuff especially now you know with so much population moving into florida it's it's the devastation is even worse because there's so many people condensed in a small area and here i'm going to put up some video just driving down the street um just to, so you guys can get a idea of all the damage these people some people have lost everything everything they own their pictures their furniture their clothing you know they can't go to work their cars it, it's just horrendous so i'm going to tell you guys towards the end of this video who i think the the only people that are going to be able to live on the seashore is going to be you know not just in florida but anywhere you know storms could hit and flooding and everything but one of the biggest things you guys have to consider if you're going to move to florida and i said this before many times you really really have to talk about and consider hurricanes if you're afraid of lightning and thunderstorms you're definitely going to be afraid of hurricanes and i'm not just saying you know hurricanes in florida every part of florida is you know could get walloped now what's happening in Asheville, north carolina this it was because of the hurricane they're they're pretty much blocked out so if you're moving to florida i don't care where you are you have to be prepared not only for sunny days like this one it's you know it's it's october it's um and it's freaking hot already it is october right I think so. <laughs> so it's it's really really bad. Um, you just have to really really think about it. You know, moving here with hurricanes because each hurricane is different. They're they're not the same. Um, you have some that just like this one. This one was just more a of storm surge. You know, coming off. But then we have hurricanes that are wind. We have hurricanes that you know are rain events and we have a whole bunch of things that could definitely definitely um, happen here so if you're not into hurricanes and storms florida is not for you or be prepared for it and be ready to leave at a moment's notice because these storms they could shift in in, in no time all right the other thing too if you're if you're moving to florida and you want to live on the seashore Okay, really anywhere in Florida, including on this one, but insurance. Insurance in Florida is stupid. I, could, I can't even imagine what the insurance is gonna be along the seashore in Florida. We're talking about they're having billions of dollars in damages and claims. So what is going to happen to them? I have no idea with all the insurance. It's, I think these people, right now, everybody just in this neighborhood over here is probably paying about twelve thousand dollars a year for insurance and i could see insurance going to twenty thousand dollars so that's another negative negative. and if you're saying you know what i could afford that you know and you're saying okay i'm okay with storms don't buy a ranch because i'm telling you all these ranches here they all got you know four six even some of them seven feet of water in it from the just from the storm surge my boat it floated I, I attached i attached the boat to the trailer and then i anchored it really good and it was pretty much floating going in circles 
th that's that's how bad it was. The boats, you know, f at the marinas and everything got demolished. I put some pictures up so you guys you guys could see. But yeah, really, really think about the insurance. Don't buy a ranch. Buy a stilt house because I guarantee you, if you buy a ranch, you'll get flooded. Maybe it might take years to you to flood, but you're going to flood and you're going to get wiped out. Everything that you own, because some of these, I haven't seen storms like this lately. It's, it's totally, totally nuts. The other thing that we're having a, you know, situation too, living along the shore is from these storms is erosion. So like the land is just getting washed away in some areas. And I actually had the opportunity to go out on the water today and the debris in the water is unbelievable. It's going to be months before the debris goes. But here's the thing. The channel that I usually go out, it's shifted. So now where, because when it gets low tide here, it gets really low. And you, you know, you have to know where you're going. But now it's shifted that I'm like, hey, you know, where, where's the channel? Um, and so I don't think it's on anybody's mind right now to go out there and dredge it because they need places to live and they have bigger problems. But, you know, storms could move things and move land and a road land, the road beaches. That's it's a big, big thing. You know, so if you have, you know, waterfront property, some of it might end up in the in the Gulf or in the Atlantic. All right. If you're living on the Gulf or the Atlantic, we all know it's salt water, okay? So you get, it's not like it's fresh water coming into the house. So if you get flooded, you know, and the water goes above the outlets, all those outlets are shot. They have to be replaced. You know, you need an electrician to go in there. You know, if, you're, if your car gets salt water on it, it's just, it's horrible. Everything, you know, salt water eats away at everything. So you really have to consider, you know, living on along the sea, you know, you're going to have a, a lot of erosion. So you're going to have more maintenance on the house, more maintenance on your cars. You're just going to make sure everything is painted um, correctly. And it's just, it gets more and more abuse. Here's one. And I, I don't know which side I, I, I go on on this one, um, but rising sea levels, like, I know I've been hearing this for years about rising sea levels and maybe it's real, maybe it's not, I, I don't know, you know, I can't tell. Um, but I can tell you that while I've been in Florida, it seems like the storms are becoming more rapid and more severe. So is it, say it's true, say there is rising sea levels. Now the property that you're paying a fortune for, you know, might be underwater in a certain amount of years. I don't know. Why don't you guys comment below? Tell me if you guys think that certain areas, especially Miami and some other areas, you know, is it going to be underwater? So the cost. Now, to buy a house along the seashore, especially here in Florida, you're paying a lot of money. Like some of these houses over here that are going for five, six, seven hundred thousand, if you go just, you know, three or four miles inland, you know, you're paying 175, 200,000. So yeah, you're paying for the privilege of living on the water. And don't get me wrong, you'll have many days that it's beautiful and it's perfect living on the water, but those bad days, you know, will come also every year. And um, you're gonna be paying double or triple pretty much on insurance, on the house, even probably on your taxes. You know, the taxes on waterfront property are huge, huge, huge. Who, who's gonna be able to afford to live on the seashore, okay? It's, it's gonna be, I, I hate to say this, but it, it's true. I just don't see it around it. It's gonna be rich people, people with money. People with money are going to the ones that are gonna live along the seashore. They're the ones that are going to have docks and lifts and boats and everything. Now, all these houses around me, the ranches that have been flooded, not once, but probably twice in the last 16 months and maybe four or five times in the last 15, 20 years. Those houses, 
some insurance company is going to be like, okay, we're done. We're not going to insure some of those those ranches, you know, the ground levels. And they might even knock some down. Um, and then somebody's going to come in and they're going to build stealth houses. And I know the cost of stealth houses. You're still talking about like a half a million dollars just to build a stealth house, um, and at least a halfway decent one. And it's a shame. It's a shame because some of these houses, multi generations, you know, they, they've been living in the houses and now they're going to be forced out. So they're going to sell people with money, you know, which, hey, they have every right. They're going to come in, knock it down, build this beautiful stilt house that those people could, could never afford. And some of these people that are moving into the long the seashore have so much money, they don't care. They just, I mean, they just, it is what it is. They want to live on the seashore and they have the money. If something happens, they could, they could take care of it. But it's just, I've never seen anything like this. Hudson got devastated. And I just came back from an area called Gulf Harbors, which is south from here. And that got devastated also. And I've seen a lot of storms, especially as a home inspector, but I haven't seen anything like this. Yeah, we're trying to help out as many people we can. You know, what's really, really cool, you know, a lot of the neighbors came out to help each other. So I thought that was really, really cool. People that never even talked to each other now are just helping each other, you know, carry their furniture out, you know, getting contractors. You know, people are going around giving, giving out food drinks a lot of these houses don't even have electricity yet who knows when they're gonna get electricity back but the community at least this community and Gulf Harbors you know I, I thought it was a good community but they, they really really came together to help each other out and you know people are like always worried about looters and all that stuff and I didn't see that I mean I seen a lot of people watching out for each other's house houses uh, when somebody's not around, even my properties, you know, if somebody's here, they're like, hey, you know, they watch out, they'll, they'll give me a call. But yeah, if you're moving to Florida, there is positives about living on the water and they're so obvious, those positives that I don't even need to explain them to you. But there's a lot of negatives. And if you're not prepared for those negatives, I'm telling you, don't, don't even bother move a few miles in where it's not in the flood zone so you don't have to have flood insurance you know which will be cheaper you know and then when you want to go visit the beach or go on the boat if you, you want to go on boat do a high and dry trail your boat do things like that and then this way you're away but if you live on the water things are going to happen it really really is things are going to happen it's just I don't know how to explain what's going on here. You know, video is one thing, but until you really, really come here and see it for yourself and you drive through it and you talk to these people, these people's lives have been devastated. Really, really devastated. You know, a lot of these people. And then, you know, if some people, if some of these houses get condemned, not only can't they lost everything in the storm, now they lost their physical house, and now they're responsible for demolishing it and removing the debris. People can't afford that. What's, I think what's gonna happen here, I think a lot of investors are going to come here and they're gonna pay pennies on the dollars for all these ranches. They don't care the condition. They're going to knock them down and they're gonna build these million dollar houses. And that's the end of the story. The, you know, the, the normal person that doesn't make a lot of money living on the water, those days are over with. I just, even the panhandle, you know, get got devastated, like really bad. I, you know, I heard of a whole town going away. So yeah, beautiful. Uh, Florida is a beautiful, beautiful place. I love Florida. I really do. I know sometimes I say I do pros and cons videos about Florida and I say some negative things about Florida, but there's, there's no perfect place to live in Florida or anywhere in the country, you know. Um, there's just no perfect place. But for me, I lived in a lot of different places from the Midwest to the Northeast. You know, I lived in a lot of places and Florida is the perfect blend for me. And I like the people here and I love the water. That's why I moved here for fishing and being on the water. And I understand, 
I'm ready. I understand, you know, with my house here that if a storm comes, I'm going to get flooded. But I feel like I'm doing it right. You know, the house will be 18 feet up in the air. It'll have impact windows. And the big thing is, once we're told to evacuate, I'm leaving. And then, you know, your safety is much more important than anything else. But anyways, that's today's video. You know, see if you guys could help out, you know, anybody you can that's affected from the storm. I mean, it went all the way up to the Carolinas and Georgia and everything. Just really see if you guys could help out people. I think it's, I think it would, I think it would be a really, really good thing for you. And um, I'll talk to you next one. Hey, do me a favor, consider subscribing. It really helps out the channel. And I'm trying to grow it and it motivates me share it give it a thumbs up and i appreciate everything you guys have done for this channel and following it and thank you and have a great day talk to you soon bye